Hi, Frank Alexander here with Alexander Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. Today we're going to go through two techniques on how to calibrate your gauge manifold set. Everything you'll need to calibrate your gauge manifold set is here on the table. We have our adjusting screwdriver, we have a pressure temperature chart, we have a digital psychrometer to measure temperature or you could use a infrared thermometer to measure temperature. We have our gauge manifold set and a canister containing refrigerant. In this case we're using R410A and we're also matching that with our R410A gauge manifold. The first thing we want to do is zero our gauges. In this case you'll notice our low side gauge is not quite at zero. Now what we've done is we remove the hoses so that we come to ambient pressure, open the valve, so now we are no, no uh, external pressures on the gauge itself. So in this case we have a nifty little access hole here to get to the adjusting screw. We'll just pull that out. In this case this gauge turns counterclockwise to go down and clockwise to go up. So we'll just set our screwdriver in and Sorry. Find the adjusting screw and we'll rotate it counterclockwise until our needle rests at zero. That's all the two. Zero out your gauges. We'll put the little access plug back in and you'll notice the high side gauge is already adjusted to zero. The second method for calibrating your gauges is using a tank of refrigerant and hooking that up to your manifold set. In this case I've already hooked up my hose, I've opened the valve, I'm turning the tank upside down so that I'm getting the pressure of the liquid inside the tank and not the vapor inside the tank. Um, I've also bled my line out and removed all the air that was in the line and now my gauge is reading the proper pressure in the tank. The next step is to take the temperature. Now my tank has sat here for several days so it is acclimated to the ambient temperature. Uh, I take my digital sling psychrometer and I have got an ambient temperature of 86.3 degrees. The other method I can take the temperature is taking my infrared thermometer and I can point that at the liquid inside the tank and I'm reading 83.6 degrees on my infrared. So, if I take my infrared temperature, which is more closely, and it's a little bit above 83 degrees, and I look on my pressure temperature chart, and I look up 83 degrees for R410A, I should have 245 PSIG. Now, since it's slightly higher than that, uh, it's somewhere between 245 and 255. Um, and then I look on my gauge set here and my gauge is actually reading 250 PSIG. So my gauge is correct. Now in order for me to, say for instance my needle was below 250 or like 235, I would just take my adjusting screw, turn it clockwise to raise my needle, or vice versa. If it were too high, I'd turn my adjusting screw counterclockwise and lower my needle. And that's how you set or calibrate your gauges. Now you can repeat that same procedure for your high side gauge and adjust it or calibrate it the same way. Special note, refrigerant has a property that when it acclimates to the surrounding temperature, the pressure in the refrigerant has a direct relationship to the temperature of the refrigerant. That's why you can read the pressure or temperature and convert one to the other right off of a pressure temperature chart. And that's it. That's how you calibrate your gauge manifold set by using either the zeroing out technique or the high pressure technique. Thank you for watching and please visit us at www.alexhvac.com or call us at 919-886-4822. Thank you again.